Hi everybody, this is Rachel from Cyber Sports Network. I'm joined here by my friend Caldor. We've hung out in Korea, we've hung out in the US, now we're here at MLG Anaheim, and uh, you have quite an exciting adventure going on, so you want to uh, tell us why you're here? Well, I basically just originally I planned to go only to Germany and have a vacation and meet up with my family and my friends, and then Blizzard told me that they would fly me over to Anaheim for not only MLG but Heart of the Swarm as a little bit of a thank you for our German community website that we are running and to give us a chance to interview David Kim and Dustin Broder. So I went to well, those inches right now, and then uh, DreamHack and everything just happened. So from here, I'm going back to Germany for like two days to Berlin. Then I fly to uh, Sweden and uh, go back to Germany to spend a couple of days with my friends and family before I go back to cast the uh, GSL Code. Uh, you have quite a schedule ahead of you. It reminds me of your schedule in Korea, where you like wake up, go to the gym, like go cast something, take a nap, cast GSL, take a nap, cast at like two in the morning. I turned it down a little bit after after IPL. After that, it was just too much. So. The last few weeks have really been a little bit more relaxing. I didn't do this many European events anymore because waking up during the night was just a pain. But I'll definitely, I did some. I will do more of them, but I am trying to find a balance. <laughs> well, you're going to cast, uh, you said, with In Control in DreamHack. Is that your casting partner? Are you excited? Uh, apparently it is, and uh, I'm really excited about it. We never cast it together, but I expect that it's been a lot of fun. There will be a lot of trolling going on. <laughs> I know, I saw that picture of you up on Reddit uh, from MLG Anaheim where you guys are like staring each other down. We just had a talk. We really, we just, we just talked. We're like, hey, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in quite a while. And yeah, then I saw the picture on Reddit. I was like, when did that happen? <laughs> I can't remember making that face. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't even care about your casting. I want to see the the bench press contest, like the push up contest, maybe the muscle bicep measuring contest. Uh, I will lose the bench press contest, but I'm definitely up for chin ups, and uh, I will do the uh, push up as well. All right, we'll do the whole Ironman tournament then. I think we'll end up with a 50-50. <laughs> Everything that is strength based is definitely gonna want my him. You've been in Korea way too long. You got their Korean humility going on already. <laughs> Well, now uh, you're out there. You're actually in charge of the GOM house while you're out there as well. What are you? Uh, I know you implemented some new rules and stuff. What's the GOM house like now? Uh, we didn't finish everything, but what basically is the idea that we have now someone staying at the GOM house who uh, takes care of things after Torch left. That was a little bit of a problem. Our cameraman, hi there. <laughs> and uh, basically, what's going to happen is that we will. I will talk to the foreigners and uh, to everyone who's applying. So we will set up some rules that, for example, everyone who applies to be there has to be at least grandmaster level or top 10 masters on the server. We didn't finalize it yet. I will probably just post the Team Liquid page at some point. And what we wanted to do is just make sure that people who come to Korea dedicate themselves to playing StarCraft and that you get a little bit of a better training environment going on in the GOM house. That's the general idea. Who's there now? Uh, right now, uh, Desert just left, so now uh, there's Major, there's Death Angel, Slog, and myself. And Death Angel is probably leaving at the end of the month. That's at least it was his plan when I was leaving. I don't know exactly about Major's plans. They changed a little bit in uh, the recent past, but yeah. So basically, the Gom House is not. It's kind of empty. I'm already talking to a couple of players from Europe, and uh, we'll see who ends up being at the Gom House in the future. Well, it's very exciting to see you traveling again uh, and outside of Korea. Where are you headed after DreamHack? Do you have other tournaments that are calling you up now, telling you to cast? I'm talking to a couple of tournaments right now, but after DreamHack, the next stop will once again uh, be uh, well Korea and casting for GSTL and GSL. But I already talked to a couple of tournaments in uh, Europe and might go there in summer. Are there any uh, other casters that GSL is looking at at the moment? Uh, right now, there's we don't know. Wolf and I are pretty comfortable doing uh, Code A and GSTL together. People uh, have. We kind of harmonize very well. We compensate each other and it kind of works really, really well. So the feedback that we get from the community is positive most of the time. And people seem to like the combination. It's, I also prefer it having uh, like one partner to do uh, the cast instead of having a rotation. Because uh, rotation just creates awkward moments. It's hard to really harmonize with the partner if you only uh, cast with him like every two weeks. So it's a little bit awkward. We're really happy right now. And I don't know exactly if we're going to get a third caster or if we will stick with the current combination. That's something we talk to with Gom right now. But yeah, we'll see. Well, your, uh, your popularity has like, exploded lately. I think. Um you and Wolf have just been really ridiculous together. I uh, crack up every time, and there's some awesome uh, photoshops up on Reddit as well. What do you think that's attributed to? Basically to the fact that he doesn't like ice cream. I mean, who the fuck doesn't like ice cream? So that's the only thing I can make fun of the entire time. No, but seriously, I was really surprised when I came to the S, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me for pictures or autographs. I'm kind of used to it a little bit in Germany, because I'm originally from Germany. I cast at Warcraft 3 in Germany for quite a while. 
but I was really surprised by the feedback that I got here in the US. So it was amazing to see and it was really, really fun. A lot of cool people just talking to me and being like, yeah, I like what you do with Wolf at the GSTL. It was really a lot of fun. I didn't expect it at all. Well, uh, like MMA, you have a ton of uh, female fans as well. I have actually my, my chick friends were like, "Oh, who's that guy?" I'm like, "Don't even worry about it." You have to introduce me. Yeah. Well, I will. I, this is your opportunity. <laughs> I asked MMA what he wanted to say to his female fans, and he dissolved into giggles, and nothing came of it. So I'm going to ask you, what do you want to say to your female fans? Uh, thank you very much for putting me on the spot here. I actually have no idea. Send me pictures. I don't know. <laughs> no. Send, yeah, send him pictures. All right, we got that oh, quote. Let's I'm wrap kidding, it up. I'm kidding. I'm joking. He's joking. No, you're not. Yeah, I kind of am. <laughs> well, what else is good? Give me a give me a little slice of life. Last time I saw you in Korea, you were reading some books. You were hanging out at Tasty Food. What's going on there now? Well, basically, what I really wanted to, I went with some friends to uh, to the code. Uh, I had some friends with me at the code as files, and we went to some of these. I don't know what the festival was actually Buddha's birthday or whatever that lantern festival. That was really really nice. So Korea right now is really awesome. It's getting a lot warmer, so you can finally go outside a lot more. You can hang out in some cafes. And lately there have been a lot of people that have been traveling to Korea. We had the French casters Pomfitude over here, and it was really fun. I mean, I kind of knew them from online, but we never really met before, and it was just amazing hanging out with them, hanging out with all the guys from Iron Squid. So that was pretty cool. And for now, I'm just really looking forward to uh, to Europe because Germany will be great. I already talked to a couple of friends of mine that we are that we need to go partying. A friend of mine has he has a boat and uh, he, he does fishing, uh, a lot of fishing and stuff like that. So we want to go uh, use the boat for wakeboarding. And uh, we tried that already once, and I really, I really sucked. But I am pretty confident that this time I'll get the hang of it. So. That's something I'm really looking forward to. And also, we wanted to go to some kind of theme park thingy tomorrow. Uh, Take actually came up with the idea, and uh, they are supposed to have like a really fast and scary roller coaster, some freefall towers. So that sounded awesome. Well, I look forward to the photos. <laughs> I look forward to uh, pulling them off your Facebook and uploading them to uh, Reddit for Comet Points. So uh, thank you so much for talking to us, Calder. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap it up? No, just thank everyone. For, thank you for the interview. And yeah, it was great meeting you guys again. Aww, good to see you always. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We're at MLG Anaheim, and we'll catch you later.